Hello there. Quack, 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 quack. Hey, that one might be laying an egg. It might be laying eggs, swear to God, it happened before I found an egg. I made a whole joke, I was gonna... I was gonna hatch a little chicklet. But my body's not the quite temp right temperature to incubate it. <laughs> my girl, what's up girl? Look at these little things. This is the lake right, look at the little finches. My friend didn't want to go to the lake. It's like 90 degrees over here right now. But, uh, whatever. It's a beautiful lake I used to come to. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Really awesome. One time there was people playing out, playing music out there, and the, uh, there was like a little island out there, and they were all going out there on a canoe and playing, like, listening to live, playing live music, I think. It was pretty cool. But, that's nice. It's right by LSU too. I got me a dope little Airbnb thing too at home. I forget the name of the place, but it's at these like condos or something. It's got a pool, got a nice little kitchen and everything. So I'm pretty stoked. Oh man, and I went to court today. Shh, fucking judge was awesome. This judge was so cool. I love going to court. I really do. Cause I like to see the look at this duck. I love to see the judge let people off and be nice to people, but there was crazy today. This guy had raped a woman over here, a homeless guy, raped his homeless girl, the guy gave her a cigarette, and hearing the female judge, because Trudy White came, hearing the female judge have to mention, like, the vulgar terms, you know, that, like, you turn your stomach on Facebook, but you know, even though there's a, the legal terms to use for these things, <laughs> it was really freaking crazy to hear it woman mentioning these words in a courtroom this dude was like i can't even believe it i was like wow and then this judge this male judge he was badass he was totally cool judge bennett the man is awesome he was totally funny and entertaining trudy white was totally like dull she's my judge but bennett uh helped me out later because trudy white transferred over to civil but trudy white's the one that let loud like uh, she released somebody before early and they went and like attacked somebody afterwards and killed him so Trudy White kind of said that the judge is getting in trouble for out here. Peter Vong! I was telling them about the, the court case. <laughs> about how Trudy White and, well, the Facebook. That's all I was showing them the ducks. And, uh, but no, I was just mentioning, I was about to mention, so there was this girl that had a baby, and the judge, he gave her, he sent, signed her up to this uh, place to basically, uh, of heroin rehabilitation, which was pretty awesome, you know? And he goes, he told her though, this guy was so awesome, Judge Bennett. He goes, he goes, God doesn't make dirt, you know? He goes, I know you got a baby and you know you're here for a good reason. And uh, I was like, wow, this is just beautiful. He was just really helping people. No, I don't want to. Thank you. But yeah, it was really great. So uh, I'm loving the lake. Got to come create some good memories, Louisiana, because it did feel a bit dark and cloudy before. Even though it's beautifully sunny and all that stuff, but, uh, you know, you just gotta travel to the other side of town. And I also realized that Baton Rouge is like, well, I'm comparing like, oh, look, a baby. like California, like San Francisco oh, to like Sacramento. Back. Sacramento is like, you know, it's slower. Are you talking to me? No, I'm talking to my Facebook Live video. I'm oh, shooting. Oh fuck! <laughs> I you were talking to me the whole time. No, bro, I don't even talk to you. <laughs> He's grouchy sometimes. <laughs> but uh so um look at these cool birds but so i was comparing like basically the capital the state capital to like the busy city you know so of course the state capital in california sacramento is like way slower than san francisco you know what i mean it's like everything's half like a third of the price and everything and then i was talking with my my vulgar friend here peter who's burping <laughs> just kidding like burping's illegal in america yet Wait, and I think Democrats are voting that down next year. <laughs> you know, you know, actually, uh, sneezing in front of a horse is like illegal. That's crazy. It's on the books. But uh, so yeah, just a beautiful day here at the lake. But my good friend, my bestest buddy, creating happy times. And I got to see Nola. Uh oh, somebody's drama over there. Well, I just don't pay attention to drama. Well. Love you all.
well, one of you I do at least. I don't know, I've got some imposters on my account now, so, you know, I really need to do a serious cleansing. So if you ain't fine or pretty, and we never messaged before, and you don't have pictures of your family, like happy faces and shit like that, because you look like a crapped out person, you just might get deleted very soon. Because I don't need any of that negativity. I'm even going to like close my BioKeeper page for a while, because I don't need even likes on there, or anything. It's not important. I could pay $350 on Fiverr and get 3,500 likes in 30 days. So, no reason to try to cast some image or project an image in the story and have some sidebuster hackers come in there, hecklers, because they'd want to show some support for a, for a dope addict or ex-dope addict. I'm talking harshly now. It's really fucked up. But that's been my story about Louisiana until I got to come back this time and have some fun because it just had a dark cloud over it. And that person continues casting dark cloud. And my friend Jones right there knows exactly who I'm talking about. Because this is a reality. Because I talked about that earlier, Miss Jones. And I said that uh, I got people. I don't need to have screenshots and videos from one little blip moment. No, I got actual people that already can go ahead and tell the story. And they'd be more than happy to sit there and go blah, blah, blah about this person's particular actions in life. You know what I'm saying? They're just chatting online about me, getting all kinds of drama going. That it's not even real. I mean, they can say whatever they want, but you ain't hearing my story before you're casting your judgment. So F you, you know what I'm saying? I don't need those people in my life. I don't need zero negativity. I know where I'm going. I know what I'm doing. And if it don't, if it contains you, you already know it because you're already my buddy and I already told you something. But if it don't, then uh, it won't. And we probably won't be friends much longer. So, time to do a nice cleansing. Thank you very much, uh, Miss Roberts, for showing me the filth Louisiana has to offer.